Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you the Y Writer uh, sample project and then how to load your own project and how to add uh, chapters and scenes. So we go to project, open project, say OK, and wherever you saved it, there'll be two folders Y Writer projects and Y Writer 6 sample. We want the sample just for this video. So, for example, on the left here, there are 32 chapters in the book. Chapter 1 has a word count of 388 words and one scene. And here's the scene here. All your scenes will be listed. It tells you what characters are going to be in it, what locations. So if we double click on it, we can edit it. And so here's the, the words for the scene. At the bottom here, it tells you how many words are in the scene and how many words are in the chapter as well. So all the scenes added up. You can add more details. You can add characters, locations, and items. Items would be like the horcruxes in uh, Harry Potter. So uh, that's basically it. So let's just make a new project. New project wizard. Okay, so next. Our title is going to be sample. Author is going to be Crystal Lang. Sure. Yes. And I usually do rich text format. Okay, so here we go. We're at a blank screen. So let's add a chapter. So create new chapter. Chapter 1. Introducing the characters and setting. So say OK. Now we want to add a scene. This is the first scene of the book. Okay, so there you go, the first chapter, first scene. What if I want to work on the last chapter? We'll just call it the ending. Let's say I know for sure that I'm going to have a f five scenes. And we're going to do some adding a character. We're going to have a character named Mary. She's going to be the main character. And in this scene, we're going to have Mary. You just drag and drop to where you want to go. Okay. So, new character, Mary. Well, then that's the, we'll just change that so it's Mary Mary. There. Okay, and in this scene, Mary does whatever, and the story almost ends. Let's say we want a location. New location, forest. Forest. Let's say we want to add the forest. Just drag and drop. And see over here it says characters Mary, locations, forest. Okay, that's all great and everything. Um, but what if I want a timeline? If we go to tools, there's a storyboard. And here it has the character Mary, and she's present in new scene one which is right here, right there. Um, the other scenes I have, I don't have any other characters in them yet. So double click it and it brings you right to that scene. You can edit it also by right clicking. Um, and that's about it really. Um, I'll open up the other is the sample here. I'm not going to save it. 
to give you an example of the storyboard. So this one has all the characters here on the side. Lots of characters in this story. So, and for Hal, you can see he's in all these different scenes. So you can see where the characters overlap in the scenes, um, where the viewpoint is mostly, you know, who actually is the main character and that sort of thing. And I think that's all I'd like to show you for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video and I'll answer it the best I can. Thanks for watching.